Hey, what's up, everybody? Get beef down here, and what you just saw is what I'm gonna what I'm gonna show you. All right, so if you were to look at it from the hang perspective of the last one, uh, yeah, I can't even fit it all the way on the screen, so I have to. Yeah, that's pretty much what it looked like. The finishing editing, it looked all like that. It's not that bad compared to other things I've seen. Um, excuse me, moi. Right there, there we go. Alright, yeah, I tried making this tutorial earlier and I sort of failed in half. So I'm going to try to speed this one up. Alright, so... I already did the events and shit, so... Alright, what you do with, uh... The panning for the first, the first transition where it sort of slid out of the way. Yeah, so it slid right out. What you do is you would grab it, make sure you have enable snapping on. And then I did this within 10 frames. I moved it all the way to the side. And then pretty much did the same here, except I start from the other side. So start over here. And then you slide it into the middle. And then what I did for the effects. So I started way over here. Um, something does not seem right. That would do it. Alright. So the final would be 205. I go 10 frames in front. This one I'm going to do a little bit differently. I had this one normally at 175. I'm going to put it to 135. And then go another 10. I'll just go another 10, so it's 6.03, have it at 0. Alright, now with this, on this next one, you would add, what was it? It was linear blur. You had a linear blur to both of those, of course. I chose horizontal. This one, go to 0.205, 10 frames. 135 and then another 10 and then we put it to 0 and there you go that would be that first effect so, and then well actually to have it in full on what I did uh, yeah these aren't even conjoined you uh, select it then use um, U to split it. Then what you do is, so this this might also help you out. You go to the, uh, you know, not this one. You go to event pan slash crop. So that first keyframe, right when it starts to move. So you select it. What the hell? Select it right there. And then you make you would bring this up. You Normally know, it would be like right around there or something. Bring it right there. Same thing with the audio. Well, not really with the audio. You want to have it right at the edge of that other audio clip. So that it doesn't blend it in. And then that second transition, I didn't do shit with it. Because I, I was too lazy and I had no clue what I should do. But yeah, so here's what that effect would look like. It slides out. And the other one comes in. I don't know why there's such a mad gap. Why is there such a mad gap? Wait one second. That would do it. I didn't even line it up right. There we go. Yeah, you gotta be exact with it. See, now there you go. That's right here. This clip is right there. This one is right here. So, see, it sort of looks like it pushes it. Now, you could add other effects like a TV simulator to make it like wobbly. And then, all I did with this right here, with the fast forwarding scene, got the headshot, waited a couple frames, split it. I also split that one. 
Then to do shit. Speed it up. Then a few frames before. Split it again. Then so you select one, hit control to select both of them. G to group them. And you hit control when you're at the edge of the clip to fast forward it. That's what I just did. There we go. Then yeah, then I just brought that right there. Now here comes the very hard part, which is masking, which was getting that to open up and shit. I'm not even gonna bother with the fast forward part with this one. See, so yeah, we got that. Let's let everything move in, split it, bring this to the top track, then we go to event pan slash crop, and we go to mask, also we would want to do this, bring that one down there. Yeah, we want it right before he gets the head, right before I get the headshot. So we'd want it right about there. I'll just trim the. Oh no, that's not what I want to do. Shit, hang on a second. Control Z, undo. I'm actually gonna split these, trim the audio down to that, and bring it back right up here. Group it. Alright, then what you do with this. Alright, so I'm gonna go to where the clip begins. I'm pretty sure that's where it begins. Oh, that was wrong. Alright, so then we go to right there. Go one frame before. Create keyframe. And go to this one. Now, this is the complicated part. This is what takes a long time. Uh, you gotta go to anchor creation tool, and you gotta outline this. But when I first made it, I went very neat with it. I was very exact. This I'm not going exact. I'm half-assing it. Yeah, see, it's not even looking that good then the mode right here after you create the full circle hopefully you do better than I did you put it to negative it's the main thing you gotta do you gotta have it at negative and then I didn't use any feather if you want you could go with like feather I go with maybe feather out I use like one percent or just make it a little bit smoother I guess I don't know let me check. Yeah, I'll just make it a little bit smoother. And then what you do next is you go back to event pan slash crop. You want to go to position. Then you'd create a keyframe. And make sure it goes to the actual end of the clip right there. Alright, so then right there. Then you'd add. Then you'd take this. Make sure enable snapping's not on or it won't be easy for you. It, no, it doesn't really matter right now since I'm just angling it. And then we'll angle it this way instead of the other way. Then it size about center, so it just all comes in at once. Zoom in even more. You want to make sure it's all like in. And then when you go to preview it. Yada yada yada, and it's right there. Zoom right in, go right through it. Now what I what I do if I were anybody to do this, I would add a fade in. That's a half second fade in, so it's not so sharp. There you go, and then boom gets the headshot. And I'd split it right there, fast forward it, and then go right there. 
Yeah, you know, all I did with the fast forwarding was I added a TV simulator, which was also in the effects, and it was just a bad sync, and I mess around with the uh, with the uh, traits of it. All right, uh, that's all I have for you, and I'll make more Sony Vegas tutorials when I get a chance. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, if you have any requests, leave a comment. All right, thanks.